Hi. Uh, here, basically, of course, to explain how to get X pattern uh, to work along with your controller and uh, basically play all your FPSs and basically any other video game. So to get started, basically, you would download whatever program it is, whether it's off the disk or uh, off the internet for your controller. Make sure that's working. Once you get that working, you would go to Internet Explorer, and then you will go to Soft Tonic. Basically, it's uh, it's up here. If you could, if you can see it, it's expatter dot en dot soft tonic dot com. Um, it's clean. It works. Uh, that's how I got mine. It's basically free, as opposed to the ten bucks you would be paying for the other one. So you go to free download. And then uh, you click it again once the page flips over. And uh, basically what will happen is at the bottom you get this little uh, this little prompt to either run it or save it. You click on save. I already have it. Oh, I see it's right here. Um, so I wouldn't do that again. I don't have to, I should say. So I click it again. It would pretty much go through the whole... Uh, downloading thing it does it takes a few seconds and then it would ask if you want to run it you run it the computer would ask you to uh if you want to continue uh you continue and then basically it's all history from there once you get it um expatter should be in a folder that looks like this you would double click on the folder and of course there's nothing in here now because i, I extracted everything but um you would pretty much open it and it would say uh, extract oh here it goes right here right you would uh you would open it and basically it would extract itself uh anyhow uh once you're done extracting it uh you would open it and uh oh i'm sorry the reason why most people don't get it to work in the first place is because when you open it, it's not to just open it. If you do that, you know, screw it. If you do that, basically, uh, it'll just open. But if you run as administrator, it actually recognizes. It recognizes the the controller as part of the PC, as opposed to something foreign. And that's how you basically uh, get it to work. Now with games like Combat Arms, which you can see up here, and uh, you know other uh, uh, FPSs and games like that that would normally let you use a controller, what you would do is basically let's start on. Okay, okay, yeah. No, that's not it. Okay, basically there's a startup, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, it starts out blank, you go to image, and you you pick one out. The thing is, I already downloaded an image, and since this is a free copy, you would have to actually go and download these images uh, separate. This doesn't come with it. That's the you know that's a little bit of extra work and um i'd show it to you but i sincerely doubt anyone who's watching this couldn't figure out how to do it on their own so um this is the microsoft elite is the black controller i'll use that one just yeah just to show because i have a, a xbox controller my other pc controller which i threw away and i feel very stupid for doing actually worked or would have worked with this but too late what's done is done so I have the image here, which is fine, and then I have the sticks. All right, the sticks are basically the analogs, um, the analog sticks. This is the left one. I believe it's the left one. All right, and basically what it's doing is just asking you to. Uh, to move them around, you do the same thing with the next one, and uh, just to make you know, 
make sure it works and whatnot and um go to the d-pad make sure that works oh i'm sorry you want to enable to make it work and then of course it would it's calibrating to make sure everything works properly and everything works properly or you can simply move them to where you want and um same thing with the buttons because he is going to ask you about the buttons and you just put uh add press a button on the gamepad to add it to the layout and you would pretty much just press all of the buttons I'm sure there are other buttons but oh okay you're right yeah and then you put them to their assigned spots and, and what have you I know I'm putting them in the wrong spots but it is what it is uh, there's some there's uh, the two which goes for the bumpers and then there's two for the triggers for the triggers I put those on the side just so I don't mistake them for anything else and uh, there's also a start and a back button this doesn't do anything during gameplay Uh, and then you have the triggers which you enable and then uh, you test them out see and um, that's pretty much it it goes to finish and then you're done you close it the thing is uh, why did I do that why did I do that the thing is uh, okay I didn't save it which is a good thing because it took me a while to, to set up mine but uh, it would it wouldn't normally come out looking like this it would all be blank you would fill in what it was you wanted done like for the controls for the uh mouse controls you put that on the right analog and see it says mouse or you can use arrows or wsad if that's what that program is asking you to use but normally wsad is for the left analog stick see i moved this one it's not supposed to be there it's supposed to be at A, but yeah, I'll fix it later. But you know, you get the you get the idea. Um, if you use mouse, it would uh, you could change the mouse settings, such as the uh, how slow you want it to move, or how fast, um, with the horizontal and also with the uh, vertical. You also have um, if you want to invert it, or how you want it to work. If you want it like a spring, it would just basically. Uh, no matter which way you you uh, move the analog, it would always come back to the center. Uh, the cursor basically would just keep going. <laughs> well, just that, just keep going. And the look camera is basically is what they put there for uh, for video games or FPSs, I should say. And uh, that's what it's on. That's what you should leave it as. Um, dead zone. Oh, this is how sensitive you want it, how responsive you want it, basically. And uh, mine's is kind of a little... My controller is a bit old, so it leans. <laughs> so I leave it a, a, li a, a less responsive. Well, whatever. Anyway, it's fine the way it is. Um, actually, I should change it, but I guess I'll do that another time. And uh, that's basically the way you do it. You download the program, make sure your control is working before you do, and everything should work properly. Uh, like I said, the one mistake most people make, or two, <laughs> number one, they pay for it. Number two is uh, instead of just opening, run as administrator. This way it'll work with every video game, regardless if it uh, accept controls or not. And uh, you would enjoy combat arms now that I've waited so long to get the controller to work with it, I actually think I like it better with the mouse. I don't know if it's because I was forced to play with the mouse that much before I actually uh, got this to work, but that's basically it. Also, the Halo trial, uh, if you want to try that, or MAT Online is actually uh, really, really good also. Um, but anyway, I guess video games are another uh, another video. Hope this was informative. If it wasn't, uh, if you have any questions, please uh, comment. And uh, I'll try to drop you a comment as soon as possible. Enjoy. Wait a minute. All right.